Welcome everybody. Today we're going to be making these cute pot holders with the Dollar Tree hack. We're going to start with a blanket stitch. Bring your knotted thread up through the outside of the binding so the knot hides behind the binding. Give it a tug. Next you're going to go down about a quarter of an inch from your where you brought the thread out. Come all the way through the back, loop your needle through the thread to make a loop, and pull it tight. Now you can go over another quarter inch, bring your needle up through the loop, then continue to pull the thread until it's tight. I find that if I hold the last loop with my thumb in place, it makes it a lot easier. Continue to stitch, pull your thread up between the loops, and tighten at the edge of the pot holder. If you run out of thread partway through, just take a teeny stitch at the edge of the binding, go through the middle of the binding, and come out at the bottom of your last stitch. Make a loop knot. Leave the needle between the layers of fabric and pull it out to the side. And then snip the thread close to the edge and it should disappear. To start again, make a small knot in your thread. Bring the needle up from the last stitch you made. Underneath the top loop, Pull your thread tight and start again. Continue the stitch all the way around the pot holder. To finish the edge, make your last stitch just underneath where you started. Pull your thread through the, the first loop at the edge, pull it tight, and follow that down to the bottom of the binding and come up in the stitch just before it. Pull your thread tight, make a loop knot with the last stitch, pull it tight, and then bury the thread end in the layers of the pot holder. Okay, and now we're going to start the design in the center. With a small knot in your thread, come up through the back and then into the front where you want to start your design. Then go to the back and pop your knot through the back of the pot holder to hide it. And now we're going to start a running stitch that goes around the circle. The running stitch is in, out, in, out. Make sure that you're only going through the top layer of fabric so that this does not show on the back of the pot holder. Continue this stitch all the way around the circle.
finish the ornament, we're going to make a lazy daisy stitch. Make a loop with the thread, go down through the, where the thread came out, come up through the loop, and pull it tight. Go down at the top, over the top of the loop, and come all the way back through the back of the pot holder. Adjust the loop in the front before you tie it off in the back. Instead of making a knot in the back this time, we're just going to weave the thread in different directions through the back of the pot holder. Go down right where you came out, bring it over a few inches, pull it out, pull it tight, and then snip it. Oh my gosh, these turned out so cute. I thought we'd do another design on the other set. This time we're going to start with the design in the center. Make a small knot again and weave it through the back like you did before and bury the knot. This time bring your needle up through one of the center circles. Follow one of the lines out to about the second dot. Go down, bring it up two lines over from where you started. Follow that line back to the center, go in and come up two tiny lines over again. Continue that pattern all the way around the circle. Don't worry if you make a mistake, just pull your needle out of your thread, pull the threads back, and then start over. I noticed that my stitches were a little loose from the way I was holding the pot holder, so I just went back through and pulled all the stitches tight. My pattern did not end equally, so I just split the difference and put the last stitch in the middle. Bring the point of the needle right up through the center of the design so you can make a French knot, making sure you don't go through the back of the pot holder. Wrap your thread around the end of your needle three times, push it through all the way through the pot holder, and pull it tight. That'll give you a nice little knot in the center of the design. Weave the thread in the back of the pot holder so it will stay taut, and then clip the thread.
Now let's finish the edges of these two with a beautiful whip stitch. Push the needle through the front of the pot holder to the back and pull to the end, hiding the knot on the binding. Bring the needle to the front of the pot holder again and the thread will wrap itself around the binding. I also find that holding the last stitch with your thumb makes it easier. Continue around the pot holder, placing the stitches about a quarter of an inch apart. When you make your last stitch, push the needle to the back of the pot holder. Make a loop knot around the last stitch and then bury the thread into the layers of the pot holder. And clip the end. This is such an easy project and I think they'd make a beautiful gift for Christmas. Thank you.